Hello BCPS, I'm Samadhi and these are my Everyday Carries. Okay, so the first thing we're starting with is my sketchbook. I know it looks a bit worn out, but I got it, I think, like last year from my school, they gave it to me for an art class. And I didn't use it at first because I was like, I have my own sketchbook, but the paper's really nice. And with the sketchbook, it's not just one thing, it are these crayons and these pens. I also bring these everywhere. I bring the whole set everywhere with me, especially during school, but it's really nice and the paper's really good, so. Next thing we're starting with is my AirPods. I use these things all the time from morning to night. Um, I listen, I use them when I get up in the morning and when I'm going to school, when I'm, you know, getting ready for the day. And even when I'm coming home off the bus. I use these during any class period. I'm walking to and from class, you know, with my earphones in. If you try to talk to me, I won't be able to hear you. And, and the <laughs> and I got these in like, the eighth grade and I, I saved up for them with all my money which I don't know how I did it because I would be able to do that now but I got them in eighth grade and it was because I every other pair of earphones I got I would just end up breaking them because of the wires but when I got these they were like really good quality and they have lasted like this long so now the next thing are let me just pull them out of here. It's a surprise. Are these beautiful, oops, hold it up, we got it, earrings. So I got these at like a boutique for like probably $5. And they are like the prettiest things I have ever seen in my life. Like they are just gorgeous. And I would never want to like lose them because I would cry because these were like handcrafted. And I remember getting these and finding these at the store and be like, these are the ones I'm getting these and I don't like I remember there was a day at school where the back it fell off like the little holder and I and it fell out, fell out of my ear and I got super upset because I was like if I lose these earrings I'm gonna because I'm gonna cry because I can't get these again like ever again they were handmade at this random boutique and I can't like they're not mass produced I wouldn't be able to get them back so And the next thing is a controller. Well, it represents just video games in general. During about COVID, I started playing video games more. We had like a PlayStation, but I didn't really use it. But during that time, I started playing games a lot. And ever since then, I've just been really interested, interested in games, especially like games that are heavy on story, because I think they're really interesting. And <laughs> even during what, like my birthday last year, I begged my parents to get me a really nice computer so I could play um, an RPG game because I couldn't play it on my phone anymore. And they, <clears throat> excuse me, and they thankfully got it f for me. I was very excited and I still play the game off and on because there are other games that I've been playing, but I love playing video games. What games do you play? What games do I play? Um, a lot of games I play are, okay, the recent ones I've played are Final Fantasy VII, the remake, not the original. I don't wanna look at those old graphics. Um, Persona 5, love that game. That's what got me back into video games during COVID. Um, Genshin Impact, yeah, that's the one I got my parents to give me for the computer. That game had me hooked for like a good old year where I just played nonstop and gr grinded really a lot. Um, I played The Sims a lot back in uh, 2020. I really liked having just little people and being able to do stuff with them. I played The Outer Worlds. I don't know if many people know about that, I'm not sure. It was a pretty good game. It's a lot of choices you have to make in the game when you're like in space and you get to like kill whoever you want and it'll change the storyline and it's just a really fun game. It had me hooked for like two weeks. Okay, so the next item is all the way down here. Okay, <laughs> right, it was on the floor. Um, this figure. So I mentioned before that I 
play video games and Persona 5 was the thing that got me in to back into video games and this is a character from Persona 5. He is my favorite character, well like second favorite but I think he's really great in the game and just really interesting and I chose this for today's because this is the first figure I ever actually bought with my own money. It was relatively cheap which is surprising because usually the cheap figures are like they have very boring poses and they're not really the best but this was like 30 bucks and it was it's just really nice um, and ever since I got this figure I've been really into just getting ones I like of characters and when I saw this for like 30, 30 bucks I was like I, I gotta get it you know like why wouldn't I it's just a nice like a dynamic pose and the colors are great and like the, the mask on point everything is just great about it so the character on the figure his name is Akechi and he is like, without giving spoilers for the game, he pretty much is like a detective in the game. And he's trying to like, prove that you guys are the Phantom Thieves. If you've played the game, then you know what it is. But so his like outfit, every time they change into these outfits, it represents something. And his outfit is supposed to represent justice because he thinks that he's like justice. That's why his like, the first letter of his name is all over him because he thinks that he represents justice, so yeah. Thank you for watching. I'm Samadhi and these are my everyday carries. <laughs>